Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life and Christmas in July. Ho, ho, ho. Today we are going to make a joy sign. Um, super easy, super inexpensive. A lot of the stuff I had on hand. Um, so let me show you what we'll need. I took one of these signs. I don't know if this was the boo. I'm not really sure what the sign was. Now, it was from the Dollar Tree. To get this wood look, all I did is I painted this sign with white um, chalk paint. And then I took some um, Giacomo bean stain and went over it and wiped it, like with a rag and just wiped it on and wiped it off. That's it. You could also do it with brown paint. You could do anything you want. That's what, how I created a wood look on a Dollar Tree sign. Honestly, I don't remember what the sign was, but it's okay. So I have a Dollar Tree sign. I have some type of little embellishment. I've got these little bells and some nips to take off the backing on the little bells maybe. Um, I have some ribbon. I'm choosing this Buffalo Check because that's what I have handy. And then I purchased these letters at clearance time at Target. Um, but I know they sell letters like this at Walmart and at Joanne for like 97 cents. So mine's gonna say Joy. And the reason I need an embellishment is for the holes. And you'll need some scissors. And I'm just cutting the ribbon off. So you see the hole there? I'm gonna stick a jingle bell. You could put a little mini wreath. You could do anything you want. I have the jingle bells handy. I'm just taking off. The letters. These were a dollar a piece, but I'm pretty sure I got them for a quarter on after Christmas clearance last year. And yeah, so let's do that. And then some twine if you're going to hang it. I'm not going to put a hanger on mine. I'm going to make it a leaning sign, but if you want to hang it, twine, ribbon, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And you can use any kind of ribbon that you want. This was from a different project I was doing earlier, but any kind of ribbon and I got this Maker's Holiday Michaels I think but look I love it it doesn't go with this sign but I love it all right I'm gonna turn you around oh and a hot glue gun or e6000 glue sticks and we'll see how we get along here let's move my coffee today I have French vanilla not very crisp well it is Christmassy all right Give me a second and we will get started. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is open up these little embellishments. Um, I got these on clearance, probably at Hobby Lobby. You can do anything you want. I'm gonna do two gold and a silver, I decided. Now, this is where how it's gonna lay out on the sign eventually. These are actually paper crafting little doodles. There, there's no bell on the inside, but I thought it was appropriate. Um, I think they're called brads. Oh look, it's perfect. And you see it just kind of fills in that little hole. You don't have to fill it in if it doesn't, oh, I don't want that color there. If it doesn't bother you, um, it doesn't necessarily bother me. I just want to fill it in. At first I thought about some pom-poms, but that was too frivolous, too fanciful for this kind of rustic sign. If I wanted to, I could cut these off. That's what I got the wire nips out for, um, but I don't think I need to. And I'm gonna glue this down, the sign. Oh, wait, that one does have a little ball in it. And then this one. Sometimes on clearance, I just pick up little doodahs and eventually they find a use. Because I know these were on clearance. I wouldn't have paid full price. Maybe I got them at Michael's, Joanne, who knows. But anyway, anyway. Um, something else you could do with this sign, if you had like this wood from the Dollar Tree, these little wood things, you could attach them somehow. Um, I'm not going to, but you can. So what I'm choosing to do with my sign I have my letters, but I want some color back here because I think all this wood needs broken up. So I pulled out my, this is, I know this is from Joanne. I pulled out, ouch, my wired ribbon. 
doesn't have to be wired, this just happens to be wired. And I'm going to measure the length and then a little extra to fold it around and attach it to the back. That's as fancy as we're getting. I cut. I cut the ribbon. I put rubber bands around my ribbons to hold them in place so they're not like unspooling everywhere. Okay, so we know, and I may end up taking this wire out just because it's bumpy and I don't know if I necessarily want the wire in there. Let's pull it out. Look how easy it comes out. If you ever are stuck with a wire ribbon that you don't want wired, it just comes out like that. And it's super fine wire. Wired ribbon is great for bows. However, I don't think it's great for everything. And this is one project that I think it's not great for. So we're gonna turn it over. Make sure you have enough on each end. And the great thing is I'm working on my my uh, quilting board is I can measure and kind of center it here a little bit. So we're gonna come a little over here and I think that is good and centered. The ribbon I'm talking about on this board so I can say, well, I have an inch on either side. So what I'm gonna do, take the glue gun like you do and you really wanna secure it on here um, because you really want it down. Okay, I'm not using my fingers because glue is hot. So I'm just using my scissors here until it cools for a second. There we go, now it's down. If you push too hard, you can see the glue coming through, but that's not a problem for me. And then I'm going to just trim off those extra little threads and I'll probably like just do this because I don't want it to keep fraying the ribbon. If you had fray check, you could use that. I do not. So here's the question of the day that I have to think about. Do I want, I don't think I need to glue it down the front because when I put the letters on, it's going to, um, attach them. You know what I mean? It's going to go through the ribbon. So we are going to do this again. And I'm just gluing the ribbon down in the back. And then, like I said, I want to put some ribbon here or some glue. I just don't want this ribbon to keep fraying. I'll let that sit for a second. And look at the front side. It's nice and taut. Let's let this dry for a moment before I lay it down. And I'll bring it back when it's dry. All right, we're back. And I wanna lay my letters out. This is the bottom, obviously. This is the top, and that's the center. Um, and I'm just gonna to try to center them as best I can. You can measure. I try not to let my crazy get away with me in the measuring and everything department. So I think that looks good. I am pretty centered, although my O is a little off, but I'm not gluing that yet. So I'm pretty centered. So what I'm gonna do is glue down my letters one at a time. So let's start with the Y. 
I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add a little extra glue right here to hold that little embellishment down. And I'm literally going to glue these letters down. Kind of want to know where your center is because once you lay it down, you're really kind of stuck there. Um, press it and then press your little jingle bell. Um, I want the glue to seep, seep through the ribbon into the wood. And like over here it did not. So what I'm going to do is just shove some glue under there. Just shill it. There. Now my letters are down. Or that letter is down. Next up we have the letter O. That looks good. Okay. Again, I want to add a little glue extra in that um, where the embellishment is. While you guys are watching this, I'm going to be laying on the beach in Florida. How exciting is that? And any little stringies that you get, you're good. They will, we'll pull them up later. And I'm going to push down that jingle bell with my finger. And if I have any extra little room at the top, I'm thinking I'm going to put like a small bow, but I'm not doing that right now. That may have to wait till like the holiday time. I'm just trying to get my base complete. And I'm just pushing it down. I'm just letting it kind of do its thing. If it's not really stuck, I'll shove some more glue under it. And like I said, these little stringies will, we can peel them off. Oops. Once we know this is down. And we'll give it a little under here. On that side. And a little over here on that side doesn't take a lot of glue because this, these are all very light wood. Now, if you're using a heavier wooden letters, I would de then say, okay, you might want to um, get out the E6000 or something. But for this purpose, we're good. And it's attached. And as long as you have a couple good attachment spots, you should be fine. And then we're going to put the J on. And yeah, I'm going to leave some room over here for a little wreath or a little bow, something. And then we're going to glue them on. I know I have some wreaths from last year that I got at the dollar spot, but I don't have them out and I'm not digging out the Christmas stuff just yet. This was all stuff I had handy. In my craft room, I have a... Um, dresser that's full of seasonal little doodahs and embellishments and things so I will look and see if I have it in there but I'm not sure and oops, we're gonna stick some glue under the J and it's stuck oh we need some on this side too I think just because this is our top letter. Now, because there is stain involved, you know, it might not stick quite as well, but I feel like it's fine. I will show you a better picture here in a minute. I want to give it a chance to dry. And I'm super excited for this little sign to stand up somewhere in my house because it's all the colors of my Christmas. And all of these items were around my home or super cheap. I know, crazy, huh? All right, let me um, let it cool, and then I will show you what it looks like. Ooh, and I'm picking out little spider webs of glue. Okay, stop that, Lori. I'll be back. And here is our finished sign. Oh, I love it. I mean, for less than $5, this is adorable. Uh, let me show you the little wreath that I created. 
Um, what I used, I had some of this boxwood garlandy stuff that I bought on clearance at the end of Christmas last year. They have it at Target. I just cut some with my nips and made a little circle. And then these bows are from the Dollar Tree, and they are the best little embellishments. Um, I get them every year, and I, you know, I have a collection of them. But I love the little sparkle that it adds to the top. Um, you could also use like these little ornaments around. You could, you know, put some snowflakes. But I like the simplicity of just my wood plank and my letters. And this is going to probably lean on my mantle this year. Ooh, that was my finger. Probably land on my, or land, lean on my mantle this year. So I hope you enjoyed this sign that gives you some inspiration to start shopping for Christmas and ideas that we can make come the holidays. All right, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas in July. Ha, ha, ha. Have a good one.